Chad and Ethan with Next Vision Instruments. And this is a brief video showing you how to level your slit lamp and align your tonometers. You can see ours is pretty unlevel. And the prism on the tonometer is off center. First thing you want to do is move the slit lamp in position right in front of the patient chair as if you were examining a patient. You also want to make sure that this knob, the slit lamp locking knob, is loose so that when you adjust these Allen screws here, which is how we're going to make the slit lamp level, has the ability to, to move and not get locked into place. So all you do is kind of hold your slit lamp level and start with one of the lower screws on the side that you need the most adjustment on. There's six screws on that arm that hold the, the slit lamp pin level. But see, I only have three screws tightened. I have two lowers, or the three lowers tightened. And we're pretty much level there. Pretty close. As you can see, your slit lamp doesn't walk away from you. We'll just snug the rest of them up. Try to get a little bit more level. And if you need to go back one way, just loosen one side and tighten the other in small increments. So you don't have to start all the way over. So once we've adjusted all the screws and got both directions level in front of the patient chair, now we can start to align the tonometer. This is for a Hogstrite style slit lamp. R900 tonometer. All Hogstrite tonometers use a 564 Allen key to make the adjustments. And all I'm going to do here is adjust these three Allen screws to hold this pin in place to make sure the tonometer tip is within my field of view. So right now the tonometer tip is off down to the left, so I need the tonometer tip to come up and to the right. There's one on the front and then two on the sides. Now the R900 is a little bit more difficult because this whole slide will fall out with the bearing when you loosen this front one. And that's basically how you get the tonometer to lock into place as well. So just be aware of that. Once you have it aligned, make sure it's in the center. Well, this is for a Zeiss style slit lamp with a 870 style tonometer. That's the flip down. We're gonna do the same thing, bring the slit lamp in front of the chair level it in both directions and then with the 870 tonometer one of the things you need to look out for is a lot of times the tonometer tip will be down and just pay attention to this thumb screw make sure it's all the way tight because when it's loose you can see here just that little bit of motion will throw that tip out of view so we'll start there and make sure that's tight. Obviously on this one, it's not going to be aligned because it's moving. 
and most tonometers only have two Allen screws to align it with. This one has both on top. So I'll start by looking in here and just getting it slightly aligned and then tightening down one of the screws. And I'll follow it up by tightening down the second screw. Well, he's holding it and moving it and adjusting it with this hand and when it's in position tightens the allens. It's easy as that. dead center of the ocular. Like this video, share the page, subscribe to our channel for future videos. And be sure to follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.